technology we are talking about today is called Omni Stubs. It's a structural tilt-up building system. It's a hybrid system uh, between a light steel frame and uh, lightweight concrete that we fill the panels with and tilt up to construct the walls. We are busy on a pilot project in Cosmo City, Johannesburg. Um, we've got 30 houses to build here and uh, yeah, it's an asset test for our technology here. The first step in the process is receiving the steel uh, that we get from conventional manufacturers of light steel frame in, in the country. Uh, that panel gets filled with a lightweight concrete. Um, we manufacture that from fly ash, cement, binders, fibers and aerators. The light steel frame is there for two reasons. It's actually the, the structure of the building and then it's also the formwork of the, of the, wall, of the wall panel. So it's a simple process of um, just filling the panel with and letting it cure. Uh, it's left to cure for three days. Uh, we move it out of the yard, it stays there for another two days uh, for full cure and then we move it up to the site and we erect the panels. In the background you'll see that we've actually done plinth construction and we basically tilt up the panels to actually form the, the superstructure for the houses. Um, you'll also see that there's buildings in the background in various degrees, so this is probably in its base, most basic form from panels going to site. Once we've done the, the plinth, um, the team basically sets out the, the U-track to the floors and uh, that ultimately is the guide for tilting up the panels. The panels then get put into that U-track on the bottom and basically um, get basically erected, tilted up and basically cleated. Once the house has been finally cleated and received its top track, it goes to the next stage. At this stage what we do is we basically level out all the, all the surfaces and we basically put a slip joint on all the vertical joints and on all the steel joints. Um, this process takes about, I would say, three to four hours to complete the house and then from there on we basically go to the next stage. Okay, once the house has been plastered, um, we basically give it a rough cut finish and uh, from then onwards the house is basically ready to accept its final finishes. To get to this stage from erection it takes us about, I would say, um, about a week. There's a, there's a plethora of extra benefits uh, from logistics when you're looking at remote sites and areas where there's no aggregates to yeah, speed of construction and yeah, the list goes on and on and on. Actually from a thermal site, um, heat buildup and heat loss, it actually uh, surpasses brickwork. Um, that's why I said it, prefer, it performs better in winter and summer. Um, and structurally, I mean, we, you know, the structures actually, um, the structural integrity lies in the light steel frame, for which, I mean, there's a SANS code for that. And it's been used extensively in Europe as well as in Australia and New Zealand. Ultimately, the, the fill that we use is actually high performance foam concrete. In terms of practicality, um, there's no aggregates in this fill material, so there's a huge saving in, in, in weight. We're actually um, taking out about 25 tons of weight compared to a, to a conventional house.